Hello Taurus, it's time for your mid-September to October reading for this current year. Hooray! How have you guys been? It's been a minute, hasn't it? Also, I just want to thank everyone for watching my videos and subscribing and getting readings. It's greatly appreciated, right? Right. So, on to business. Taurus? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, right? After all, it's just a card game. Won't work if you don't believe in it. Just boop your nose and there we go, right? Also, if you want a personal reading, email, Facebook, Instagram, down in the description box below. Mm -hmm. First reads on the house, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. In advance. You got the Six of Swords reversed, Taurus. I think I had this in your shadow yesterday, too, didn't you? If you're wondering, like, I did the... I'm doing these on a Saturday. That way I could upload them Monday. Eight of Pentacles reverse. You want a reason to stick around, but it's not working for you. Kitten? Kits? Hey. Hey. You can get off the table now. Come on. Go somewhere, you shit. Go on, get crazy. I am not even playing that game with you today. Ah, she's just a naughty, naughty child today. Thoughts and feelings, right? Now there's some shit you just can't get over. Ah, I, it, oh yeah, crosswatch your switch where you need to, of course, right? Right. Hmm, and that's because there was a sudden changes. Things just took off so quickly with the eight of wands right here. Okay, we got the. Ten of Pentacles. We also got a book with that, too, surprisingly. It's been a while. Um, this Ten of Pentacles, somebody had the wrong idea or they were lacking clarity with it. Especially when it came to some brand new offer. Ooh, with the Ace of Pentacles. This was right behind it. Possibly dealing with a uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the King of Cups, right? But he might have some illusions. He might have some lies. He might have secrets. And you might not know what to do with that information because it feels like y'all aren't coming together, meshing together. But he might be a Scorpio and it probably isn't going to change or something isn't like going to die to let something new begin. And now someone's got to make a judgment call with this Ten of Pentacles. Right? Right. You know, might have to be like something to do with the relationship, if you will. Make me like something good for dinner. I don't know what I'm making. I don't know. Maybe mac and cheese and chicken. I don't know. I just thought of food all of a sudden. I don't know why. Because I just ate. But whatever. Let's see. We got. Ew. That might be you, Taurus. You might not be given anything because you already got enough issues as it is, right? Right on. And you might not be trying to take a leap of faith with the sacred clown or fool traditionally. Reverse. What's your vibration and such? Ah, someone feels betrayed as fuck and they're having a hard time getting over that shit with the Five of Swords reverse. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta figure out what to do, man. Got to figure out what to do, my beautiful, sweet Taurus. I feel like you're realizing that sticking around some situation, it's not going to get to where you want it to be, or you can't build on it, or it, it's just not working out in the favor you thought it would, you know? Like, you're feeling like you got some shit that you can't get over, and that's because something suddenly changed in you. Like, there's a sudden switch in the root of all of the shit, which I don't know what it is yet, you know? Like, in this home, you don't feel like giving away more of your pentacles, and you sure as hell don't want to take a leap of faith to this change that you're now facing, right? Or this could be your cross-watcher, one of the two. Could be either one of you. Just decide what it is ours. We'll go from there. Right? Right. Alright, the Six of Swords. Might be looking for a reason to stick around or a love proposal. That's open-ended. Um, probably not... Probably not the best idea. Uh, might be better just to take off the other booty with Booty Man card. Knight of Wands, right? Shapeshifter, the change. Look at your options elsewhere, I feel like. Yeah, it's like um, something Like something feels like it didn't get finished. You have unfinished business with uh, the World Reverse. 
could also be talking about like some bad karma right here when it comes to like this love proposal. And I don't know, could be from a fire sign who's looking at their options, but I feel like it's more like you being like, ah, oh, maybe I should just go ahead and take a leap of it. But you don't want to take a leap of faith to these actions. So you're actually trying to set it on fire and not even doing a good job with that. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. What's up with this? Shit just feels like it isn't working out the way you think it will. Oh, that might be you, Queen of Coin. Comfort, Bliss could also be a Capricorn or a Virgo. Um, she's not facing the tower or the forcefulness of it, the draconian energy. Nothing's coming down on her when it comes. Okay, um. Hmm. The lack of a tower moment, pot, pain, and grief? Were you expecting somebody to come back or something? Or is someone expecting that of you? I'm not sure. Let's see. Or right, someone just in a frightful rage. You had to have a lot of water at some point in there, you know. Like someone just filled with some... Just like, oh, Hulk smash and all that, right? Queen of Swords did not. Oh, right. Other deck. Hold on. The Queen of Swords did not face the tower. Or the Queen of Pentacles did not face the tower. That was of pain and grief. That is interesting as hell. Okay. So either you didn't, like, get hit with this tower, but it still caused pain and grief, or someone else did, and it still caused you pain and grief. Either way, the lack of it coming down caused some problems. Alright. This, uh, Six of Swords reverse. What is up with it? Someone isn't offering their love. Deciding to cut that shit out. You are not dealing with that bullshit. Um, you saw the mind games and you're making sure they're making sure to go away. But it was like... Like the page wasn't giving any love to the home. And you were kind of like, alright, you know what? You can go somewhere with that shit. I, I, like, I, like, I have bills to pay. Like, I did not ask you... To act like a child and pretending like I should be your mom and just fix your boo boos, you know? And you have to drive someone away, but it's like you didn't mean to actually mean it. You were just like, you just wanted them to cut that shit out. And it's like, no, you cut it out. <laughs> Alright, this Eight of Pentacles right here, the Wheel of Fortune's turning. And it's time for you to get out of a nasty mind state, man. Because no love was given here? I feel like you might be breaking up with somebody or doing some shit, Taurus. I'm not sure what the fuck that is. It's not like you're really sure about what is and is not fair right now, I feel like. Little girl. I like how you like to sneak places, but now is not the time. Go somewhere. There you go. I don't know what makes you think I still want you on my lap, because I don't. <laughs> While I'm doing these cards. Okay. Four of Cups Reverse. You're all sad and shit because of the lovers right here. There's something you regret about that. Like the lovers came out of a chaotic situation. Lots of confusion. And what? Okay, Taurus, I'm kind of confused right here because we have twin souls, reverence, distress, confusion. It is not captivation and entrance. Give me like two seconds to actually look at this. Hmm. Taurus, you are... Or someone you're dealing with. I almost feels like feels like they're sad because um they were really in love with someone and they came out of confusion and now are trying to look for a way to um 
come back in or something or they're snooping or trying to gather information on how to get back into something it's either you or the person you're dealing with so the change two of cups partnerships right and then the three of cups too that's the root of the feelings right sudden change and shit In really, really sneaky ways, though. Okay. So. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Taurus. The big change is, like, there is a partnership right here, right? And it seems like it led to some sort of, like, realization or fruitation. Um, someone was strategizing, plotting coming up with something like look at how this bird is shaped almost like it's trying to be a coin or whatever but it's really not um something about it's always like it's always made me look at it was just like there's something up with this bird i don't know what it is with this bird but there's something up with this bird it always catches my attention because it's so strange looking and it's like it's kind of like one of those things it was like someone figured some shit out that had to do with this they had to gather the information about all the sneakiness right here how things weren't moving the way they thought it would. I feel like someone wants an apology. Alright, four cups reverse. What's up with it? A lot of unfairness that went down. Which is what caused the end. Possibly with a Scorpio. And someone felt like financially left out in the cold. Right? With this Eight of Wands right here. It feels like something did not get started with this change. Which caused someone to stay up a lot at night. Until they realize that, uh, you know what, that third party is not so grand after all. Maybe that was the realization. Maybe they learned about all three cups. And that was like the main issue. This five of swords over here with the vibration where someone feels like they've been betrayed over and over again. Five times at least. What is up with this one? Ace of Wands, uh, success rule in this. Someone will gain success over feeling this way. They will overcome it. Ah, uh, there's that guy. Um, someone might be trying to swoop in to gain the um, upper hand, though. Could have been an Aries you're dealing with or someone with Aries in their chart. Um, who is really full of their own BS, I will say. Um, they, they are back on their bullshit, for sure. What else can you tell me about this? Please. They're the one. Yeah, th this. Okay, like. Hmm. Taurus, I don't think you're the one who might be. Or Crosswatcher, whichever one, you know. Take your pick, really. And leave the rest with a grain of salt, of course. But Taurus, I don't think this is you who's in this almost morning stage. I feel like this is the person you're dealing with, which is over here. It's like they're all sad and shit because everything went over. Or everything is over, I mean. Yeah, yeah, that, that's literally what I just said. Thanks. Or excommunication, one of the two. And nothing's being offered after this either. That's nice. Thank you, phone. Alright. Ten of pentacles. The scales were not fair, and someone offered really tiny amounts of bullshit with them cards. You guys have a lot of water you're dealing with, I feel like. That and air. Water and air. We got you, the Empress, also Libra or Aries, just being like, ah. Uh, she's the counterpart to the Emperor, too. So, keep that in mind. Queen of Swords. Like, the Empress is just all, like, lazy and doesn't want to do anything. So now she's got to be really decisive and figure out what she needs to cut out in order to give her more time. Because some things are keeping her from keeping the 10, right? Knight of Pentacles. This could be you, Taurus. 
You might be bringing, like, you're not writing to bring everything in the end, or you're not trying to deliver something to a Scorpio. Regenerate, mutate, yeah? Not trying to feed into what might die because I feel like you are figuring your own self out. No. Yeah, okay, like, you're coming out of isolation, figuring out what's going on on the inside, and I think it's almost like, you know what, I don't think it's me. I, I, I really don't think this is me. I think, I don't think this is for me. Thank you, next, you know? The Fool or Sacred Clown Reverse, you're not trying to take a leap of faith because you don't feel like there's any justice in it. Uh, you want to come out of this whole, like, rivalry shit? All this turmoil and disorder? You just want to relax. You're just like, oh, dude, I, I, I just can't do this shit anymore. I really can't. This needs to stop, you know? Like you're done. Let's go over these last few cards, and then it is over, Taurus. I just feel like, so, it feels like with yours... That, like, you aren't dealing with someone who hasn't been giving to you, and yeah, I think you're kind of upset that, like, they went away, but it's also kind of like when they went away, it's kind of like your mindset got better. I feel like, like, you were troubled about other stuff, too. Let's see. Trying to get over all the heartbreak. When it came to the separation between the two of you. But not really taking the initiative to write in and do anything about it. With Woody Card Man is not trying to get any booty, you know? Right here, we got like three of wands reverse, not trying to wait on anything. Because other shit's moving fast. Like there's something coming in fast for you guys, it seems like. Um and it's something that you definitely manifested. Something you were working on for sure. Or you're ending what you were working on and decided to um, put your manifest... Oh my god. Put your manifesting skills elsewhere. And you got two eights right there. So it's definitely something that you've been building on and working. Ooh, a new challenger might approach for that heart of yours. In order to offer you a happily ever after, Taurus. Ooh. Um. The fuck does that mean? I would almost say that, like, she's keeping her secrets. Or ignoring her intuition. One of the two. However, you want to take that one. I'm not entirely actually sure about that, um, Taurus. That one actually is leaving me a little bit confused. But that's your reading, and I will see you guys later, okay? Um, if you did enjoy my video, please like, share, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, but there's no pressure, of course. Y'all take it easy. Bye-bye.